Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Milly, and today I'm going to show you how I set up and organize a small space for my two-year-old daughter to make it a learning station for her with things that I already have at home. But first, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch more videos related to motherhood and lifestyle. I upload new videos every week. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to show you right now the space we have. And this is the space I want to use. As you can see, it's a small space. It's part of the dining room here. It has her little table and chair. But I think it's good because it's just for her. And this is everything I want to use to organize this space. These are things that I already had here in the house. So yeah, I think it's going to turn out good. I'll try to link as much as I can down below of all the things that I'm mentioning here if you want to check them out. Okay, so this is the finished result. As you can see, it's a small space, just the necessary stuff. I think it turned out great, really like it. I'm going to show you up close. Here I have her table and chair that I got from Ikea. I think it's perfect for her. But if I have to sit next to her, we can go to the dining table she has here cushion where she can sit so she can reach the table so I can sit next to her if I have to show her or teach her something and here there is an alphabet chart I really like it's really colorful has each letter with a picture it's a wipe off chart you can use a dry and erase marker here so you can write the letter you're working on that day and words here and then wipe her off and start over again. So yeah, it's great. I really like it. And then I have this white card that I got from Ikea too. I made a video about how I organized this card with all her supplies. I'll leave the link down below if you want to check it out. So here I have her activity books, her coloring books notebooks with white with blank pages all here and in this caddy i have her crayons markers glue color pencils pencil sharpener some chalk here i have this container with these are alphabet magnets these are animal magnets here Disney Zoo, it's really cool. And these lacing bits. Here I have flashing cards, numbers, colors, shapes. And I really like this. My sister-in-law got this for her. It has eight books with different categories. As you can see colors counting, you know, opposites, shapes, words. It's really complete and has these stacking cubes here with different words on it and pictures and then she can stack them up. Here's really cool. Here, here at the bottom, I have this, have this full of stickers. Here's some dumb hard oilies for crafts. And in this box, I have all her craft materials, pom-poms, glitter, paint, play-doh and some play-doh tools for her. So yeah, it's really practical. Love this card. And in this little bag I have inside, I think for now I have this box with eraser. Yeah, it has erasers here. Or she can use it if she wants to put something inside. So she's in the stage now that she wants to grab everything and make a mess. So I prefer having this hidden from her, this card. 
until we have to use it. So it has wheels, so it's perfect, so I can put it inside the closet and then, then take it out when we need it. So yeah, it's perfect. They're here too. And then we have this cork board. I think it will be perfect for displaying her work or if I have to show her something. For example, this one, she had to draw a line here, from here to here, she drew this. And for now I put here this, but then, but maybe I can get a dollar tree, the numbers, to display them on top and other stuff. So we'll see. And then this daily calendar that I really like, got this months ago, but just now we open it, we're going to start using it. I love it because it has everything. It has the month, the day, year the seasons, temperature, weather, activities, holiday, and I feel. And at the bottom it has all the different months and numbers and everything. So yeah, I think it's a great way for her to get familiar with the months, the days of the week, the temperature, the seasons, the weather, everything. I think it's perfect and very, very useful. It's from Melissa and Doug. Then here I put this small mat, she can play here. And this is an easel that it has a blackboard and a whiteboard too. It's a small so we can set it up here in the table. We can, she can draw there. And also in the whiteboard we can use the alphabet magnets or the, and the animal magnets. So yeah, I really like it too. So yeah, this is how it turned out. As I said, my daughter is two years old. She will be three in August and she will be starting preschool in the fall, but with everything that is going on right now, we don't know what is going to happen. So that's why we wanted to set up a learning space for her so we can teach her stuff and she can learn. So as you can see with a toddler, you don't need that much space. With a small area is fine. I hope this gives you some ideas if you want to set it up too for your kids, if you have toddlers too, with a small space is enough. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you homeschool your kids too, what other things you use. If you want me to make more videos like this, let me know. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.